Hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I'm Nicole Cancilio and welcome to the video, y'all. Okay, so today's video, I wanted to do something a little bit different, have a little bit of fun, since Halloween is right around the corner, and I feel like there's so many different routes you can go about for Halloween. Like, you could either do something all makeup related, or just like throw on a costume and like get ready to go. Me, personally, I don't really care that much about Halloween. I used to really care about it a lot back in the day. I respect it, don't get me wrong. I just feel like I'm kind of like personally over it. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking me where are the Halloween videos, where are the Halloween videos. And I am going to be having two or three creators on my channel kind of showcasing off their Halloween talents. So stay tuned for that. I thought, you know what, since I'm not really feeling inspired this Halloween season, I want to give like, some smaller influencers a chance to come on my channel and you know show off their creatistic ability. Since I'm kind of not in a Halloween mood, I figured I would kind of try to turn that around and try on a bunch of Fashion Nova Halloween costumes so that way y'all don't have to. Now I don't know how this is gonna go. This can either go really well or really horribly. There have been times where I bought stuff from Fashion Nova and it just fits perfect and then other times it literally looks like trash. So this is gonna be interesting to see. I also have Riley here. We're currently in my kitchen and like living room area. How you doing? I'm gonna show him the costumes too. We'll get the dog's reactions, you know. I have my Fashion Nova bag ready to go, ready to rock. Let's just open it up and see what we got, you guys. I'm excited. Different types of videos coming at ya. And I hope you like it, so let's go. I also have like a makeshift tripod going on in my kitchen. It's underneath a box and then on a little mini tripod with a ring light behind it. I'm so professional. I don't know why I have this. I can easily rip it. So I did do rush shipping on these because I wanted to get them in time for the holidays and also like whenever I get a video idea I feel like I have to like do it right then and there I don't know why I don't know if it's a Sagittarius thing I don't know if it's just like a content creator thing I don't really know but whenever I get any type of video ideas I feel like I really need to do them ASAP so that's why I also rush shipped did I order black angel wings some of the things were also a little bit deceiving I thought just the way that they were kind of advertised on the website, I was like, okay, if I didn't read the description, I wonder how many people bought shit from the Halloween store on Fashion Nova or the little Halloween tab and got not what they wanted because it didn't include everything. So that's the first thing I would say is like, you need to read everything because I'm telling you right now, if I didn't read it, I probably would have been really pissed off. They also sell wigs, which I thought was effing hilarious because I, I really want to see how good quality these wigs are. Like, I'm intrigued now, you know? Oh, and then I also just ordered myself a dress because I was kind of like, oh, that's cute. So we have one dress in here too. Also, I hate the way that they do their packing slips. They're like stickers. I hate it. I just hate it. How much should I spend on this stuff? Too much. So I think what I'm gonna do is reposition the camera so that way you guys can see like my outfit and everything. And then obviously I gotta figure out a way to try things on because, uh. Let me collect my thoughts here. Okay, so I think the first costume I'm gonna try on for you guys is the Incredibles costume. And I have size S slash M, so small, medium. I don't really know how these things are gonna fit me. Genuinely, their sizes are all over the place throw everything on the floor. Oh, okay, beach. What's this? That's weird. Some of the like plastic stuck to it. Okay, so it comes with this, which I already feel like is gonna be way too long for me. Way too friggin' long. And then we have, okay, these gloves. I feel like they didn't have to come with cardboard in them. Am I turning into like such a package snob now? I blame that on Riley, okay? He's made me way more environmentally friendly. All right, so I think the best way to do this is kind of like do half of it on camera, half of it off camera. Oh, there's a little hooch thing in it. The hooch liner, you know? At least we know they're cleanly. 
or sanitary, right? Sanitary? <laughs> I'm also like hella bloated from my period right now, so. Sorry, TMI. Is this gonna fit me right? I don't know, all right, let's see. Okay, so I feel like it wants to fit me, you know what I mean? <sighs> There's like a zipper in the back. Oh, beach, this is hot. Like not like, it's like hot, you know, temperature hot. Okay, so let's put these gloves on. The material is like a mesh, kind of like netting. I should probably take off my bracelets and stuff. Oh my God, dude. Now the real question is what am I gonna do with all of these Halloween costumes afterwards? Probably donate them. We have a Goodwill right down the street that I like to donate clothes to. Riley and I actually have like four bags by the front door that we are gonna go donate. And then we got this little option here. So this is like made like shit. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat that. I almost feel like if you were gonna go as the Incredibles, maybe you just paint, do like a little face paint moment. But this is, it feels like caca, like not good, you know? But I'll put it on for the cost. See, where are my eyes supposed to go? But I also feel like it's making me look slightly cross-eyed, like the holes aren't that even. But I also feel like pretty incredible, I'm not gonna lie. Such a cheerleader. All right, so now I want to show Riley the costumes and I want to have him like rate them. So I do feel like this actually fits me pretty good. Like if we're, well, besides like you can see my, my underwear underneath, they, they probably don't want you to wear underwear with us. I feel like it fits pretty good. We're off to like a pretty good start. The bottom is like on my ankles is loose. It's like very loose, but overall, I feel like it's cute, but let me go show Riley. <gasps> <laughs> Can I stretch your leg? Am I Elastigirl? Elasti <laughs> Does it work? <laughs> stretch! It's actually pretty cool. Do you like, yeah, I'm like kind of impressed for the first one I put on. So what would you rate this like if you saw it at a mm, party? I don't know, I'm a big Incredibles fan, so. I would say 8.5. Six out of ten. Okay, okay, so we're off to a strong start yeah, here. Yeah, I think you can just write that one in as a winner. And... Okay, I have oh, like five more to, oh. to do. How do you feel like it fits me? The underwear is a nice touch. <laughs> the underwear. Thank you, honey. I think it fits me pretty good, yeah. All right, so, are you going to try to stretch me? <laughs> All right, so let's try on costume number two. Okay, so the next costume I have is actually called, ooh, the claw from Toy Story. They actually had some really, was that you that said that? Oh my God, I got so confused. I was like, who's talking right now? No, but they had a bunch of really cool Toy Story costumes, but they were like all sold out of the smalls, which is like my life. But this was the only one I like could manage to get. It has like the pizza logo on it and everything. Also, I would definitely recommend wearing some type of like pasty or something underneath this because just in case like this is very stretchy and it keeps like moving around and I actually had a few nip slips. Oh my God, hooch mania right here. All right, let me try this on. Well, I already effed up because I forgot to put the stockings on underneath or the fishnets. So thanks, honey. Okay, so, gotta zip this one up. Most of them, like these two, are S slash M. Like, I think that's the only, like, small sizes they had. Damn, this is hard to zip up. Ugh. And then I think these went on the hands? I don't really know. Oh yeah, you're supposed to put your thumb through this. I'm so bloated. And then we have this little guy. He's a little shingad over there, but. Okay, so this is the claw. The claw. So it's pretty cheeky and pretty out there. I would say this is definitely a more risque costume if you're in the looks for a risque costume. It's very hot and like nylon-y, so keep that in mind if you're gonna like wear this actually anywhere. But it is cute, like I like the idea of it. Maybe you could even pair this with like tiny booty shorts or like if you wanted to do just like green leggings underneath. I don't really know if personally I would do the fishnets. Um, they, they are cute though. The claw. All right, so I'm gonna call Riley on in for another, you know, writing. Okay, Riles, come on in. Another outfit. Da, 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 da. The claw. What do you think of this one? Uh, it's definitely like, 
is similar. Well, it's definitely but, more revealing. Not in his butt. Dang, Tiny! I like it. I like the ears. I like the Pizza Port logo. I love the Pizza Port logo. That's like my favorite part of the whole costume. Yeah, I think it's worth it for the Pizza Port logo, but uh, no, Elastigirl. Yeah, so what would you rate this one? Quality of the costume is good. It's hot. It's very hot. But I think it would kind of take a second to... To realize what I am. It. So I'll give it a 5.7. Oh, okay. With the point seven, Not bad. Personally, I feel like it takes a lot of balls to wear this out. Like, I don't know if I would ever do this. Like, getting in an Uber like this, I feel so weird. It's like a college costume. Yeah, yeah. It's like, let's go to a frat party. Like, <laughs> also, isn't it like cold in half of the country? How would you wear this? Half, like, More than half the country. <laughs> it's October. Basically, November. I feel like I'm it's gonna dance, recycle. It's practical. It's not practical at all. But that doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, so let's try on costume number two. This one I'm really excited about. It's hella revealing, but very iconic. It's an iconic Halloween celebrity recreation. Let's go. Let's go. You guys are not ready for this one, okay? First of all, look at this wig. It's not that bad. It's kind of like a hot, like a party city or whatever wig, you know? However, they didn't say in the actual description whether or not the wig came with the costume, and here I am telling you guys now that the wig comes with the costume. So I was kind of like, well, I hope the wig comes, but this is the Lil' Kim with the iconic half boob out. Just gonna do that so I don't get demonetized, you know? But oh my god, you guys, this is hilarious. Obviously, I'm bloated as a from my period. This is the Lil' Kim, you know, Lil' Kim up in this. That I think even Miley Cyrus recreated this like a few years ago at the, was it at the VMAs that she did it? I don't really know, but I'm just covering up my boobs so that, you know, I don't get demonetized, but. So I feel like if you're gonna wear this, I just went and looked in the mirror, but I would recommend shapewear if you wear this, especially if you get bloated easily like me. Like I get bloated so friggin' easily. I don't know what it is, it's probably all the cheese I have. <laughs> but, you know, I would say definitely do some shapewear, but I do feel like it fits me pretty good. This is a size. I'm pretty sure I got SM. Like, I think all of these are small, medium. Not really sure. And I'm only five feet tall, so, so just to give you guys, like, a little rundown on it. But let me call Riley in to give you guys a little rate. Dude, I almost want to wear this, like, a Halloween party, but I'm just, I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know if I'm that risky of a girl, you know? All right, Ralph, come look at this one. It's 200. What the? <laughs> What the hell is that? Lil' Kim. Is that Lil' Kim? Yeah. She wore this, I believe, to like the VMAs or something. Like everybody like tries to do Lil' Kim for Halloween. What? Are you laughing uh, at the wig? <laughs> the whole thing? <laughs> the wig's actually kind of cool. You like the wig? It's oh. puffy because I have a, my bun in oh. it. That's why. <laughs> I tried this on and you didn't even see it. And then like I was like, okay. And he was so confused. Okay, rating. Uh, I like that part. <laughs> he likes the glove, you guys. That's what he likes, is the damn glove. Oh, I don't know how I feel about having my boob out. I wouldn't like to uh, Especially because I still have a lot of scars <laughs> from surgery. Obviously, <laughs> you gotta commit to that. But yeah. That's pretty freaking cool. That's like a... a like a, a joke? As a joke costume, I'm gonna give that a solid eight. Okay, okay, so you like it better than the than the uh my wig is flying. Okay, maybe a seven. Uh realistically the claw. Realistically the claw more. I feel so awkward with my boob out. Incredibles, the claw, little Kim. Lil' Kim. But that's also the coolest at the same time, so what are you gonna do? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not having too much fun being Lil' Kim though, that's for damn sure. Okay you guys, so I'm gonna go and try on I believe we have Two or three more costumes left. Riley's making a cocktail in the corner to get through this, so. Okay, so this is one of the costumes I was kind of warning you guys about. So this one right here, 
is a dark angel and when you click onto it in the Fashion Nova site, it looks as if it comes with like the lingerie or whatever you wanna call it that it comes with, but it doesn't. So you have to be very aware of that. And like, that's the only thing I will say, like Fashion Nova, you need to get better at like saying what is in the products and what is not, because I seriously had no idea. And I was just like hoping for the best. Like if that little Kim costume didn't come with a wig, like what would I have done? I would have just been like, a girl with her tit out, you know? All right, so we got cockeyed angel wings. Are they supposed to be this cockeyed? Well, you know, at least if you dance, you get your wings moving. Oh my God, this is like literal shit. Do me a favor and go on their website right now and look at the Halloween costume. This does not look like this. This is all cockeyed and shit. And you're basically supposed to be like a fallen angel. So yeah, I don't really know how I'm feeling about this. The wings are all sorts of effed up. Riles, you wanna come in? It's a mess. Zero out of ten. <laughs> it's a mess! It is absolutely a mess. What is this? What the F kind of? It's like a first grader took a glue stick around one of those. Pipe cleaner. Pipe cleaner. Yeah. And just. This is so bad. Look at it, it broke. What is it already that? broke. What the hell is this? Yeah, that's horrible. It's that's kinda what so I bad. I'm surprised the other ones weren't like this because I genuinely thought they I were going to be. I didn't know you were doing this, but you said Fashion Nova costumes. Okay. Yeah. But those ones were cool. This is a nightmare. Absolutely horrible. Yeah, all right. So this is a zero. I think we can both agree on it. And it's itchy as f Terrible. You try them on. Try on the wings. Give me one arm. I believe hey, I can take it easy. I believe I can touch the sky. Why are they so horrid? <laughs> they suck, dude. Well, they work. Go down, go down. <laughs> They're so bad. What? <laughs> oh my god, should we put them on Mo? No. I want to see what he looks like with angel wings. Yeah. It's a paper. It's a. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's shitty angel wings. Something. They're no, so no. shitty. Don't Fail. waste your money on that. Fail. Okay, so I have one more costume left to show you guys. This one is actually pretty cute and I feel like could be really good for those of you out there that aren't really into Halloween. So I'm gonna go try that on and be right back. Okay, you guys, so this last one is the same situation as the one before where it didn't really come with the lingerie or the outfit that it was advertised with in the actual costume. This is the Doggy Filter two-piece costume kit. And I thought it looked really cute and like could be really good for those people that don't really give a shit about Halloween. Oh, and I just bought this like shapewear thing. Honestly, it looked like Skims, like a knockoff of Skims and I wanted to try it because I've never tried shapewear before. So I was just kind of like, oh, let's kill two birds with one stone. Get my baby hairs with it so that it's not like super crazy. Cute, all right, let's put this shit on. Should I put this shit on first though? <sighs> My eye! I feel like it should have came with a dog tail because I feel like you can't tell whether or not I'm a bunny. Maybe if I flap the ears over it'll look more like the... Because isn't it kind of folded over? That's a little bit better. Oh no, does that just look more like a bunny now? Don't call me angel. You ain't got me right. Personally, I feel like it could work. I like this dog piece, um, but I feel like I would have to dog it up a little bit more. Like maybe if I like dog, I don't know. All right, let's call Riley in and get like the final result on the last costume. Rilo? All right. All right, what do you think of this? Just basic dog. Could you tell I was a dog or you wouldn't know? Mm, no, I thought you were. Peter Rabbit. Oh, really? A little bunny. I feel like I might be able to get this to bunny. work. I mean, yeah, you look like a dog. With the, this is too much bunny. They should have been way Bats. more dog, like. You could cut them and round them. There's nothing on the back. No, yeah, they didn't in attach a tail or anything. It's like a dupe, I guess. Like, no, it's a good starting point. I guess. It's like half of a costume. Yeah. It gets you there, then you can do arts and crafts and complete the rest. Mm hmm I feel like Riley's friend Ryan would like love this. I should have invited him up here to do costumes with me. All right, so what's your rating on this one? I would say it's a two for me, personally. Okay. And it didn't even come with this. Like, I had to buy this. Oh. Separate. 
Oh, yeah. It just sold as the... And same with the angel wings. Just sold as the angel wings. Yeah, and those angel wings get a negative. And this one yeah. just gets a... I'll give it I'm self-conscious in this one. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to put some regular clothes on and we'll come back and discuss my final thoughts about everything. Also, I would love to add that I literally am changing in the middle of my entire living room where there's windows everywhere and we got new neighbors across the street and I'm just like, hey, new neighbors! They totally like hear me outside in the middle of the night like on the porch with my CBD and I'm like yelling at the dogs to stop barking <laughs> and they're like, who's this lunatic New Yorker that's across the street from us? I had a really fun time trying on these Halloween costumes. I definitely wanna do more try on things. Like I think I wanna try like like Riley picking out my outfit, maybe my sister, maybe my dogs pick out my outfit rather than like my dogs pick out my makeup. But I would say overall the costume for me that I thought was the best and I felt the most comfortable in was probably the Incredibles costume. It was a little bit big at the ankles, but I think if I were to get like some thigh high boots, it wouldn't really matter, like you wouldn't really see it. Honestly, I probably will wear those three costumes that we started off with if I get invited to any Halloween parties. I know a lot of brands like to do Halloween parties, like I believe Urban Decay has done some in the past. Pop Beauty, Anastasia does one. Come here, mama. He's a little bit mad at me right now because I gave him a bath and I think that he thinks every time I pick him up now, I'm gonna give him a bath. Like that's how he gets usually for the first day. He's like, I don't wanna be picked up. Overall, I really didn't think it was that bad. The last two costumes I tried on were definitely janky AF. I would say stay away from those costumes that are more just like, here's angel wings, here's this. Like, I would say stay the hell away from those. And really not that bad. I thought they were going to be worse. It was a little bit better than going to like, I used to go to Party City all the time when I was in high school to like get costumes to wear to school. And I feel like this is way better than ever going to Party City and trying on costumes. I had a fun time. I'll probably wear the Incredibles one. I'll have to be in a really daring mood to wear the little Kim one. Really daring mood. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I had fun doing this. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it kind of got you into the little Halloween spirit of things. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.